My auntie told me, don't make a permanent decision in a temporary situation. Basically, don't do something stupid because of hardship and frustration. I heard that once and it stuck with me, because the struggles in life can be blinding, to the point that the clearest of pictures is impossible to see. God has this big plan for us that we don't know about, but our minds succumb to one word, doubt, disbelief. You can't believe the words of truth coming out of a person who came to you and preached. Abraham had the same issue when he slept with Hagar because in the eyes of Abraham, God's plan seemed too far. Back in those days, you couldn't just reach your destination by getting into a car. Don't just give up. Don't just cover your misery with alcohol and die in a pub. If Abraham could lack faith, they can happen to us too. But don't give in to evil just because you do. I'm not saying that your problems are irrelevant, but if God says he will take care of you, then that is something he meant. There are many people in the worst situation that end up selling their body for sex. Once they get in, they realize this life of theirs starts to become complex. Times are tough, so you start taking drugs to make you feel better. After years of taking drugs, you're consistently feeling under the weather, because now you're an addict. My auntie said something to me as well. She said once you make a permanent decision in a temporary situation, all of a sudden a door is open, but now it's too late. Don't be the person that does first and thinks later. Don't surrender to the world's way of thinking to forget your savior. We need to understand that God puts us in this situation. God is still watching over you. He has not gone on vacation. He has not left heaven and changed location. God is watching over you day and night. I know this situation appears to be the end of your life, but don't let the struggles give you a fright. Get up and call on Jesus the light, the author and finisher of your faith and life. Don't listen to the lie that you're being told, because the devil is heartless, deceptive and cold. Don't shape your path. Let the potter do that. God puts you in this place to overcome. Once you understand this, you'll realize that you've already won. Everyone may have thought that Jesus was defeated at the cross, but when he rose again, they knew that he was the boss. Don't doubt. Don't think God is left, because he's always there. The burden you carry, the King of Kings will also bear. Don't make a permanent decision in a temporary situation. Just don't. Thank you.